Nobody worked harder to play this game at its highest level. He battled through nine knee surgeries and never quit. He was the best team leader I've ever seen and one of the nicest men I've ever met. To females, a matinee idol. But also the epitome of a man's man, Darren Dalton. Drafted in 1980 by the Philadelphia Phillies, Darren Dalton's Major League call-up three years later placed the 21-year-old amongst some legendary company. My first year in 1983 in the big leagues was Schmidt, Carlton, Rose, Morgan, Maddox. I was like a deer in headlights when I first, first arrived in Philadelphia. That was kind of the old school era, and I learned how to play baseball in the major leagues from the old school guys. After a five-season apprenticeship, Dalton finally secured the starting catcher's job in 1989. Oh, a nice play by Dalton behind the plate. His best offensive year came in 92. His Dutch belted a career-high 27 homers, led the league with 109 RBIs, won the Silver Slugger Award, and made the first of three All-Star teams. He's played very well defensively, he works with the pitching staff, he throws well, and he can hit and drive in a run. He drove in 105 more runs in 93, leading the Phillies to their first postseason in 10 years. But more importantly, he'll forever be remembered as the glue that held this wacky collection of misfits together. Darren Dahl was a rock, a leader, an outstanding person. He set the tone for that 93 team. He's as good as there is, as far as a leader on a team. If something needs to be said in a serious note, or you get on somebody, you can't do this, or you gotta do that, he's not afraid to say it. That one more game, game six of the 93 NLCS, would be a high point of Dalton's Philly career. And the Philadelphia Phillies have won the National League pennant. Knee problems throughout his career slowed Dalton's production, and after a few injury-riddled seasons following the 93 pennant, Dalton was traded mid-season in 97 to the Florida Marlins. When I have an opportunity to play in the pennant race, and that's something as a veteran player, that's really what you want to play for. Dutch did just that, playing an important role in the Marlins' championship run. In the air to right center, and very well hit by Darren Dalton, and with the win, you can tell it goodbye. Dalton played all seven World Series games and hit 389. In doing so, he earned his one and only championship ring. Poetic justice, indeed, for a true leader who fought his entire career to play the game he loved. There's one thing that I've always lived by, that if I could come in and put the uniform on and help the club in some way, then I felt obligated to do so. I think if everybody does that, then you can look in the mirror each night and know that I did the best I could to help the club, and that's the way it should be. In August of 2010, Dutch was honored by his first team, as he and his career was immortalized in the Phillies' Wall of Fame. I had a 14-year tenure here and really connected with the city of Philadelphia. I feel very proud and honored both to uh, represent the city and the organization.